Um, we come from a very deep evil uh, system in South Africa, which is called the apartheid system, which displaced black people out of the city. And therefore, we believe that was unjust, and therefore, every human being uh, must have access to land and housing that is decent and closer to the city. And where people live matters. My name is Tapelo Mohapi. I am the General Secretary of Abashali Basem John Dolo, a Sheikh Dollar's movement based in Durban, uh, but we organize in five provinces in South Africa. But I would like uh, people to know about my movement is that we are advancing the struggles to access the cities. We believe that land should not be commodified. Land shall come after its uh, social value. And therefore, should, land should not be used for profit. It must be used for the benefits of uh, all, uh, particularly the, the impoverished and the working class. Talibas and John Dolo over the years have been able to occupy land that is uh, prime and that is access to the cities closer to the people where people work. Um, we've managed to protect many communities who are facing evictions from the city of Deben, the anti-land invasion units as well as the South African police services and government and politicians. Um, we organize people in numbers. We believe that the, organiz the organizing of the people from below, from grassroots, is very important. Um, and of course, we call that the people's power. And the other form that we use is, of course, uh, naming and shaming those who want to evict poor people and displace them from the land that they've occupied. Uh, using media and, of course, uh, our partners and allies to actually spread out what is happening to us as Abashal Basom John Dolo as we are being displaced. And the last is, of course, the litigation where we take government into court and ensure that um, uh, the courts uh, actually prevent the unlawful eviction from taking place. Um, but also we are involved in strategic litigations where we ensure that the laws and policies of this country favor the poor and marginalized from, um, and, and prevent unlawful evictions. I believe that um, justice is about um, people having access to homes, regardless of their socio-economic status, regardless of their background, regardless of their color or creed, and therefore people must have access to land in order for them to, to have um, housing, and that land must be closer to the places where uh, benefits, economic benefits, um, uh, people can benefit from. My name is Zande Dantibande. I'm the co national coordinator of the Women's League. Our movement is a, femi is a feminism movement. We, we fight against patriarchy, gender-based violence and femicide. Because you know that uh, poor people are, are the most vulnerable group that are victims of patriarchy. We are also having a problem with the cultures that are oppressive to women. So as the Abashal Women's League, we are trying to eradicate those um, traditional practices that are offensive to women. We do most of our work in the inner city, in the informal settlement, in the farmlands. One of the organizations that we deal with or that we work with is a, is a movement called Abashal Basem Jondolo, a Sheikh Dweller's movement that campaigns for, for land, for housing and for dignity. And how we support their work is we help them facilitate their negotiations with the local government and we also take their matters uh, to court where they are not able to resolve them out, outside court. Everyone should have access to affordable housing and even free housing because our constitution allows for that. The work that uh, we do with Seri is it's about securing a home within the space of the inner city. Um, where most proper people and vulnerable people they are residing at and we've been seeing this so many years happening whereby the city of Transpec wanted to displace the proper people within the city of Transpec. So we are also defending the eviction and saying these people have got the right to stay in the city and also they've got the right to access to basic services regardless of lawfulness in their occupation or regardless of ownership. The tools that they use to criminalize those who are trying to secure home within the inner city of Transport. So for me, 
there is no housing justice in South Africa for now. Maybe in future we will see um, justice in terms of housing, but for now, no. Are you working or not working? You should be accommodated, irregardless of nationality, you should be accommodated. Um, that's what I want to see it look like. Working with the NST Federation, uh, we've also litigated against uh, police um, repression, specifically through warrantless raids of homes, um, as that was part of a tactic that the state used uh, against, against the inner city and its members. And I think for me, housing justice um, means uh, putting people at the center, ensuring that uh, inner city residents, informal settlements are part of policy discussions, that policy implementation considers uh, what the impact will be on their, on their lives. Um, and lastly, for me, housing justice means respecting uh, the rights of people to live what they want.